Japan and the US are two countries with some very unique cultures, and thus this causes many differences to appear when comparing the two. Some of the more prominent differences are between their school systems, from the school buildings to what students can wear to school to how the grade levels work, the differences between our country's schools are numerous. Today I will be discussing just a few of these differences, so without further ado, let's start at the beginning of the day for most students. To get to and from school, American students will commonly ride the school bus, be driven by their parents, or if they live a short distance from the school, they can walk. This is not the norm in Japan though. Starting at a very young age, students will walk to and from school every day. Older children will usually guide the younger children, but parents will often stop walking with their kids after primary school. This is to promote independence and teach children responsibility, some having to walk 30 minutes or more to school. Once at school, students will put on indoor slippers, put their bags away, and go to class. The class will then be led by a student elected leader to greet their teacher before and after class every day, thanking their teacher for the lesson they just received. This teaches them a, a valuable lesson in respect. In America, students will arrive, put their things in the locker, and go to class. Then everyone will stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. As you can see, these are pretty different morning routines. After that, students will attend their morning lessons, learning a variety of subjects. Common subjects between our two countries are history, math, and science. Japanese students will not only learn just Japanese, but also English starting in primary school because of how closely tied our two countries are. After morning lessons comes arguably the best time of the day, lunch. In America, students will all go to the cafeteria and eat lunch together as an entire school. Students can either eat a school provided lunch or they can bring their own from home. This stays pretty consistent throughout their entire school career. In Japan, starting in elementary school, lunches will be prepared outside of the school and then brought in. The, class, the lunches will then be divided by class and it is up to each individual class to work as a team to serve lunch to their entire classroom. Students will each be given a job, whether it be handing out milk, dishing out equal portions of food, serving food to their classmates, or giving out desserts. Once every student has been served, all the students will sit together and give thanks for the meal that they just received. They will all then eat together as a classroom. Once students have finished eating, they will work together to clean up. They will separate out trash, discard uneaten food, and wash dishes. They will then rearrange their classroom back to its original state and resume class. This teaches them respect for their classroom and for the meal that they just received. Elementary school, this lunch tradition ends though, and students will then usually pack their own lunch or purchase a school lunch. They do continue to eat lunch in their classrooms though. After lunch is more classes, and then at the end of the day, all students will work together to clean their classrooms and the hallway. Japanese schools commonly don't have janitors, and it is the responsibility of students to keep the school clean. This teaches them to respect their surroundings and the responsibility of having a cleanly working space. They will do this from the beginning to the end of their school career. After cleaning, elementary school students will then either go home or to an after school lesson. In high school though, students are required to join either a sports or culture club that they will go to at the end of the day every day for their entire time in high school. There are a variety of clubs for students to choose from. Some unique to Japan are archery, kendo, kanji, and tea ceremonies. The clubs tend to be very demanding and students rarely have time for more than just one. This is fairly different from the American extracurricular equivalent. Students in America will usually select one or more sports or clubs to be a part of because they are far less time consuming and students find them to be extremely fun and they are a great way to stay social. Students in America can also quit a club or a sport if they find that they no longer enjoy it or if they find that they just no longer want to be a part of it. In Japan, this is not the case though, and students are encouraged to overcome any challenges they may face. As you can see, America and Japan have many differences between their two school systems. Japanese students tend to be more independent and hold things with more respect, while American students are encouraged to have a variety of skills and use their imagination as well as being extremely social. I believe it could be beneficial for both countries to learn from each other's school systems and take into account some of the benefits to each style. 
I think that together we could truly grow and to help our students become more well-rounded as people. Before we conclude, I would just like to thank you for listening. My name is Alexis Dean and I hope you enjoyed.